During the 1980s, cars with flush glass and body covered buzzers tended to come from the concrete that gave us the metric system, and the marketing kind that General Motors figured they could partake of some of that European prestige by adding Euro badges to Chevrolet. On a car as resolutely mid-gigantic as the first-generation Lumina, this may have been less than convincing. Here's a first year of production Lumina Euro sedan in a California self-service record yard. We've seen a good example of the high-performance version of the first-gen Lumina, the Z34, in this series. The Euro name went on.